Hello! This will be a guide on how to obtain 4 free hair colors to customize your character. I am talking about 4 achievements, 4 quests that each one unlocks one hair color. The options are the black hair, blue, pink and white. I will show here how to obtain each one of these. Here in the video description I will put the timestamps so you can jump to the hair color you want. To change your hair color you go to your inventory, appearance, that is this little dot here next to the wig icon. This is a brand new character so I don't have any options. And to unlock the first hair color, the black one, you have to accomplish an achievement called Wipe Out the Hanamins. It's about killing 500 Hanamins. You can do this in 10 to 15 minutes. Once you kill 500 Hanamins, you will obtain the achievement Hanamin Destroyer. And here in your achievements tab will appear this little treasure chest icon. You just click it to unlock the black hair die. And now for the pink hair dye, come here in this map called All Burial Ground, which is located above Tenet Garden. You'll have to talk to NPC called Gravekeeper Homas. If you're using an add-on called Mapmate, you can easily find him right here. Once you find him, talk to him in order to start the quest. This is a pretty simple quest, you have to kill 15 monsters in 2 minutes. Once you kill 15 monsters, teleport back to the NPC to obtain a title, Burial Ground Itinerant, as well as a pink hair dye. Open your inventory, go to quest items and click the pink hair dye icon to unlock the color. And now, for the white hair color, you have to complete this achievement here called Introduction to Crafting, which will give you a Tarogist title and the white color option. For this, you have to craft 100 items. If you're using a class that can craft items like Pardoner, Fletcher, Alchemist and so on, it will be very easy to obtain this title. But if you don't have any of these classes, you can craft Blessed Gems, which is a very popular item, Another easy option for this achievement is farming 200 corpse hands in Tenet Church 2F. And that's because there is an item called Zalia Leather Boots that uses two corpse hands as ingredients. You can buy the recipes at the Blacksmith NPC. Well, since I don't have 200 corpse hands, I will craft just 66 Zalia Leather Boots. And you can also craft these very cheap recipes here of low-level items and you only need nuclear powder as ingredient. And after you craft 100 items, you will unlock the achievement, gaining the title as well as the hair color. And for the last one, the blue hair, you need to unlock this achievement here called Party Quest. For this achievement, you need a character at level 100 at least. This is because, in order to start a party quest, you have to talk to a mercenary post NPC, and these NPCs are only unlocked above 100. This achievement consists in completing 25 party quests, and this NPC here, Receptionist Lion, gives you 5 party quests per day, so you need at least 5 days to complete this achievement. The first thing you have to do is to create a party, even if you are alone. Once in a party, interact with him and click I want to be recommended and he will give you a random party quest. There are several party quests he can give you randomly, so he gave me this depressed spirit. Two of them are very easy and quick, one is called the enemy smell and the other the disappearance. I think the disappearance is the easiest one and what you want here is to make him give you this quest. And for that, there is a little trick. You just leave your party and create another party. Because once you leave a party, the party quest he gave you before is cancelled. So you create another party to talk with him again and he'll give you another quest randomly. 
and keep repeating this process until you get the disappearance. This quest is very simple. It starts by talking with the Templar Master, Knight Commander Uska, right here in Klaipeda. He will send you to Veja Ravine, which is two maps above Klaipeda. Next to the Statue of Goddess Vacarine, there is this little spot here that you can interact with. Now you will enter this little cutscene where you can see spirits. Just kill these spirits here, kill them again. And then interact with this spirit here, Klaipeda Mayor Spirit. And that's it, after you talk to him, you just go back to Klaipeda and talk to Night Commander Uska. Note that, when you accomplish this quest, you gain this little sparkly cube. In this cube, you can get from 3 to 10 random level 1 gems. And now, you have the blue hair color option. Remember, you can do this process 5 times per day, resetting at 6pm server time. And about all these color options, there is a very important thing to mention. You can only use these options in your basic hair, the one you choose when you create a character, and on wigs, both here at the hairstylist NPC in the beauty shop. Wigs are these equipable and removable hairstyles. Note that, once I remove the wig, that little dot button disappears, so I won't be able to choose any other hair color. And this is because this is not a wig, it's a haircut. I can only alter this color by coming here, talking to this NPC, clicking the hair option, and selecting one other color. And for that, I will need TP in my bag. This is a premium item. If your character is using one of these five options here, these five haircuts, you won't be able to change their hair color using these achievements. Only if you use a wig on top of it. And there are other options of hair colors which you can buy here. This will appear just like the achievement once in that little dot button. That's it for this video, I hope it helped someone. Please subscribe to my channel. Feel free to leave a comment and see you in the next video. Bye bye.